Hey from Microsoft here. In this video, we're going to show you two methods of getting a radial tilt shift inside of DaVinci Resolve. So if you used Instagram before, you might have noticed there's two different kind of tilt shift. One is radial and one is linear. So today we are going to show you how to do a radial tilt shift inside of DaVinci Resolve. So now we go to open effects and we're going to resolve FX blur. There you will find radial blur. So grab that and put that onto your clip. Now you will see a rotating blur or a spinning blur. So to access the parameters to change this, we go to here, this tab and click on it to open FX. Now we can see the smooth strength. We want to increase this. The main thing is now we can see the center of it quite well and don't make it overly. So now we can actually move it around and position it. So I'm going to position it where the person is. And now we can lessen this strength to the point that we get like that. We have this in focus, but the rest be less in focus. So now when we play this clip, we can see gets like a cool effect that the person is in focus while the rest isn't. However, you get this uh, odd blur. Some people might like it. Uh, some people might think this looks overly, really odd. Um, there are of course some lenses that does simulate this kind of blur that it's spinny. But uh, most people or most uh, professional lenses won't have this. But yeah, if you don't want this spinny kind of blur, we of course have like a different method we can achieve this blur. So now actually let's remove this effect and we go into fusion. So first we're going to blur and we're going to add blur to our line here, drag it onto it going to change blur size here to three hit enter so we get like a nice blur but it's also not overly too extreme and now we are going to mask going to choose ellipse and drag this here on top and we're going to drag this triangle to ellipse so now this ellipse will only affect this blur making a mask onto it we can already see it here on the timeline or on the preview. However, we want this inverted. So we're going to press invert. And we're going to change this parameter a bit. So this will become 0 0.15. And this be 0 0.05. And you can play around with the parameters a little bit. But I feel that's correct. And we're going to move this circle to this person here. And we're going to change the width here and also the height to the size that we want. Drag it a little bit more. And now when we look at this, so comparing these two shots, you can see your eyes is more drawn to the person where it's in focus while the rest of the trees are out of focus. So that is the second method of the radial tilt shift. So I hope you guys found this an interesting tutorial and please give me a thumbs up for that. And if you want to see more upcoming videos, please hit that subscribe button here below and also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when we post a new video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.